magnitude 5.9 strong earthquake hits uh, the Walker Lane fault system. We have been told by USGS to expect more earthquakes and they're pretty strong after shocks. Basically they have not stopped this past hour. The shake alert has been confirmed and USGS says aftershock forecast be ready for more earthquakes. Our model of the expected numbers and odds of future earthquakes be ready for more earthquakes. Let's take a look at the map. Now Volcano Hotspot, the tectonics of Walker Lane, I've also found in the 5 o'clock position on the map you'll see Little Walker Caldera. I didn't even know that was there. That's just north of Mono Lake of the Long Valley Caldera. That erupted nine and a half million years ago or so. As we know this is an area of the subduction zone and Walker Lane that has all the high threat volcanoes of California takes up 25% of the subduction pressure. San Andreas Fault takes up the other 75%. Let's take a look at the uh, map so that you can see now that 23,000 people reported feeling it. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So here we are at Sizemo Berkeley. They're still going on as you can see right across from San Francisco and this is a uh, Walker Lane uh, fault system right here. This is a San Andreas fault right here and uh, it's on the Sierra Nevada range. All these are the high threat volcanoes of California and uh, Let's go back to our USGS confirming shake alert has been confirmed and also aftershock forecast be ready for more earthquakes. Nearby seismicity, shall we view the nearby seismicity? Let's see what's going on there. That's it right here. Okay. And of course we have aftershocks, but this is not showing everything. I'd rather show the Sizewell Berkeley map, which shows all this. Okay. And the shake alert says that about 23,000 people have reported feeling it. This, this shake, the, the 5 point, oh, oh, they've upgraded it to a 6th magnitude now. They've upgraded it to a 6th magnitude from 5.9, by the way. But you see that the Aftershocks are pretty big. K4.4, this one here. 4.4, how many repeated? Well, I just got a comment. Someone said that she has a friend in the area saying that they feel rolling going on. And this just now happened, so 85%. Again, do we have? Yes, the shake alert has been confirmed. Nearby seismicity, of course, expect more quakes. Okay, these are pretty big aftershocks. Expect more quakes, he said. Let's go back to our shake map. They've upgraded it to a 6.0 now from a 5.9. Uh, this all happened within the hour and uh, this is our shake map. And uh, let's go to our uh, uh, topographic and you'll see, well numbers you can see, but I'm not going to take off the frequency because as you can see it basically hit, let's pull out again, okay, pull out a little bit, okay, uh, I'm sure it, it must have shaken Salt Lake City as well, I mean if you extend this, this is a pretty strong earthquake, Oregon and all the way down to Los Angeles, uh, someone else confirmed, well, they sent me a comment saying that all of California was shaken by this. Um, let's go back to our map, aerial map. Okay, and pull in a little bit so that I can show you Mono Lake, where the caldera is. Long Valley caldera, that is. Okay, that's Mono Lake. All this is Long Valley caldera, and that's where it took place. That's Walker Lake, and this is our area 
of what we know is to be uh, the tectonics of uh, this is it here little walker caldera blew about nine and a half million years ago to 9.3 million years ago and let's go to the rest of it this is mono lake right there and uh, that's it mono lake okay that's the tectonics of the walker lane fault system full of that's the mono inyo craters the inyo craters um, all this mono craters volcanic fields long valley caldera the uh, magma rising the 1980 diagram the ubb craters uh, the sima volcano field this is the amboy crater we also have the coso a lavic lake we also have the coso volcanic field pisgah crater crater mountain big pine and coso volcanic field so this whole area is full of volcanic fields coso volcanic field coso range okay all this is golden trout creek volcano all these are volcano look mud volcanoes salt and buttes okay all these are on the walker lane fault system okay so they've upgraded this to a six that's mono lake right there this is our area and um, we did have a cme which was pretty strong it was an x1 class flare uh, we did have the uh, 5.2 earthquake that hit uh, the whole of Hawaii, uh, the Big Island of Hawaii, uh, on July 5th, July 6th. We were having aftershocks there as well. Um, but this is out of nowhere. Remember the last time we had a, a, an earthquake this big out of nowhere, it struck Salt Lake City here. And a few days later, I think within the day, it struck Idaho. A six magnitude struck Idaho, 5.9, 5.7. And... Uh, it shook Yellowstone because uh, from what the geologist in charge, Mike Poland, told us, it would not affect the supervolcano magma in any way, but it, perhaps it would have uh, affected the hydrothermal plumbing systems of Yellowstone. So if you extend that, that's not good. I'm sure something was shaking around there. Again, this is the subduction pressure. Um, now, we have had our... Geologists tell us that from the time we had the Ridgecrest earthquake that uh, all three sections of the San Andreas Fault have big pressure. The northern section, the, Orla the um, Oregonians have been uh, warned to be ready. Um, the uh, southern part of San Andreas Fault is also high in pressure and the central part. So it's good that this is re re relieving the pressure at least. They've, you see, they've updated it to a six magnitude. Okay, so all of you there, please be very careful. They've updated it to a six magnitude from 5.9, and this all happened is happening within the hour, and the quake swarm is still continuing, as you can see. Uh, all of you there, the shake alerts. Hopefully, you'll be getting, you have been getting alerts, um, and I hope you have the app for that. Uh, Earthquakes are not, they're not fun. <laughs> uh, here in Greece that I'm sitting, we have, we have earthquakes here too. It's not at all fun. You have to be very, very careful. Um, listening to the, listen to the uh, shake alerts and uh, be ready. Have your water, your telephone charged, your gas in your car and uh, be alert uh, to uh, take flight when you have to. All right, thank you for your support. Please leave your comments. Thank you so much.